scoring elite. And he is one of the best finishers this league has ever seen, to echo Darren's comments. The 25-year-old Venezuelan shattered many records during the 2018 MLS regular season, reaching 30 goals faster than any other player in the world today. Joseph won the 2018 MLS Golden Boot Award with 31 total goals to break the former MLS single season record of 27 goals. And that was set by a trio of MLS greats, Roy Lasseter, Chris Wondolowski, and Bradley Wright Phillips. On a global scale, Joseph's production exceeded the 2017-18 season totals of Cristiano Ronaldo, Robert Lewandowski, and Harry Kane, with a goals per game average of nearly one per game. That strike rate was greater than England's Premier League Golden Boot winner Mo Salah and in near reach of Spain's La Liga Golden Boot winner, none other than Lionel Messi. <clears throat> Adding to the accolades, Joseph netted his sixth career hat trick on July 21 against DC United, yet another MLS record. Joseph was also named to the MLS Band Best 11 that faced Juventus in the 2018 MLS All-Star Game presented by Target. Playing on his home field, Joseph scored a crucial first goal in that match as a standout amongst the league's best. Even into the Audi 2018 MLS Cup playoffs, Joseph has remained relentless, adding three more goals to his tally this postseason. And Darren mentioned that goal before, but I'll say it was my personal best, or my personal favorite, the one against Red Bull, which was an amazing piece of skill and composure. Joseph has been an influential factor in Atlanta's United success this season, this season and that's obvious. And he has undoubtedly contributed to the energy of a new soccer city in the South. And with that, I invite everyone to take a look at his, the two, 2018 heroes.
Now, it is my great pleasure to congratulate Atlanta United forward Joseph Martinez as the 2018 winner of Major League Soccer's Landon Donovan Most Valuable Player Award. ¿Listo? Thank you to the God for my teammate. Uh, they have, we have it. They um, they are great on maybe the more important years or more important days uh, in our life. Um, also, I want to say thank you to the fans for the amazing support this year. Also. For the guys made that happen, this for me is really, really important and special. For the old people working in um, in Atlanta, and uh, yeah, oh. now I want to say in Spanish too because I feel more comfortable. I, I feel so nervous, more nervous. <laughs> Quiero agradecerle eh, inmensamente a mi abuela. Mi abuela está acá. Mi tía, uh, mi sobrina. Sebastián, no, tú Sebastián también. Que, yo no sé ni cuál de los dos se llama Sebastián. Um, a todas las personas que trabajan en Atlanta, están aquí a mi lado al presidente por la oportunidad de darme estar acá. Hace dos años no tenía ni siquiera la noción de, de, de que, si, que, que iba a pasar. Gracias a uno, unos buenos amigos, en especial al padre Sebastián, que ahora no está con nosotros, que fue la primera persona que nos dijo que... que le va bien. Agradecerle porque nunca esperé esto. Y nada, a mi hermosa Venezuela, que, que agradecerle por tanto, por, por el cariño, um, a todos mis amigos, a todas las personas que hicieron esto posible. Y bueno, esperar eh, esta, hermosa, esta hermosa semana, este hermoso día que para nosotros, no solamente para mí, para mi familia, sino para todos los compañeros que hemos tenido un año excepcional, que um, creo que no vamos a vivir uno una semana como esta y prefiero y espero darle la, la alegría a toda esta ciudad que, que tanto la necesita y tanto la desea y nada eh, yo voy a parar porque yo soy mucho de hablar me pongo más nervioso todavía pero agradecerle agradecerle por, por, por venir aquí hoy un día tan especial para nosotros y bueno eh, esperemos que el próximo año tratar de, de dar lo mejor posible para para lo que hicimos, tratar de romperlo otra vez y nada, tratar de, de dar lo mejor para, para conseguir un nuevo de esto. Así que, que gracias. Thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, see you later. Alegre. <laughs> Oh, 
first of all, I, I, uh, I think I, we should acknowledge I get a piano before Justin is just done. Uh, speaking in somebody's second language is not easy. 